Hey everybody, it's Mama J. And I was on Whatnot again. Buying more vinyl. Want to see what vinyl I bought? Stick around! <laughs> Alright guys. So, um, I picked up some more vinyl off of Whatnot. Uh, the seller, I actually, was Jake's Retro. He sent a business card, which was pretty nice, with the albums. So I'm going to show off what I got here. And guys, tell me what you think. If there's anything you would buy. First one we got is the B-52s. I believe I grabbed this one because it was really cheap. I don't see the list in here. Yeah, I don't see the list in here. I don't know if I removed it or what I did with it. But I'm pretty sure I only paid a buck or two for this one. So I was able to grab the B-52s. No lyrics, just the generic replacement plastic. Oh, let's see what else we got here. We got some great albums here. I got Sterling City Kids. Now this one, I had never really knew much about them, but... It looked kind of interesting, and I thought for, I don't know, a buck or two, whatever I paid, I'd give it a shot. So I'm adding that one to my collection. And then I was able to grab this one. Alice Cooper's Greatest Hits. This is like a treasure for me. This is like what I probably started buying the auction for, okay? So I was really, really happy to add this one. I'm sure I paid a little more for this one. I wish I could find the list. So I was real happy to add this Alice Cooper one to my collection. This is Greatest Hits. So this has I'm 18, It's My Body, Desperado, Under My Wheels, Be My Lover, School's Out, Muscle of Love, Teen 8, Laminate 74, Billion Dollar Baby, No More, Mr. Nice Guy, Elected and hello, hooray, let the show begin. I've been ready. So, pretty awesome to add that one to my collection. I am, yeah, you have no clue. This one, yeah. Score. All right, on to another one. Let's pull another one out of this pile. I'm just trying to randomly pull them here. All right, we got the cars. So this is pretty cool to add the cars to my collection. I've always liked the cars. I know the lead singer's name was Rick something, I don't remember. Oh, Rick Okasic. Yeah, I believe he passed away, sadly. Good times roll, my best friend's girl, just what I needed. I'm in touch with your world. Don't just stop. Pretty nice to add this. It will get re-sleeved because unfortunately, even though the plastic's still on it, it has peeled away on certain parts. So I will resleeve it. But pretty awesome to add that to my collection. I mean, the 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 seller did send these in sleeves. Uh, but I'm trying to redo all of them into the same uh, type of sleeves that I have. All right, next one from the pile. We got, ooh, we got Cinderella Night Song. Now, Cinderella was big in the 80s. I've seen them in concert, I don't know, a handful of times. They were discovered by Bon Jovi. They're pretty awesome. Oh, no lyrics. But you don't need lyrics when you got bands like this. Uh, let's see. We got Night Song, Shake Me, Nobody's Fool, Nothing for Nothing, Hell on Wheels, Somebody Save Me. In from the outside. Push, push. So pretty awesome. Back then, trust me, to the girls, that was hot. All right, so let's put this one back and see what else we got. Boom! Belly Squire. Mm, so this is pretty cool. This is Don't Say No. Oh, there's the back. That's pretty awesome to add this to my collection. I'm pretty sure I got this for a pretty decent price. Let's see. Oh, we did. Score. Winner, winner. We got lyrics. And then we got a cool picture of Billy on this side. 
So that's pretty awesome to be able to add Billy Squire to the collection. John Cougar, American Fool. John Cougar Mellencamp, John Mellencamp. Whatever name he chooses to go by, he's still pretty awesome. And my parents always tell me, I believe it was, I wanna say a heart concert that they went to. And they said the opening act was this little scrawny guy and he came out on stage, bebopping around, singing like he owned the stage. And that was before he even knew who he was, okay? That was when he was just an opening act. And boom, we got a nice picture of Mellencamp there. And no lyrics, just some info. So pretty cool to add this one to the collection. All right, next one we got... Tough Enough, the Fabulous T-Birds, Thunderbirds. Uh, I believe they're kind of a country band. I'm not sure. For some reason, I want to say, I don't know. For some reason, this band kind of clicks with me. Oh, we got lyrics, though. That's pretty awesome. This may be a different band than I'm thinking of. Fabulous Thunderbirds. Either way, I did purchase it. <laughs> oh. But I, I mean, this, yes, I know who they are, but for some reason I was thinking somebody else was in this band, but I don't see them. So it must be in a different band. So, all right, on to the next one. We got, look at this, Minute Work. Wow. Business as usual. Yeah, no, this is where you get your vitamin of it. What is that? Veggie sandwiches. Pretty awesome. Oh, pretty cool. Oh, lyrics. And this side is pictures. So score, score. That's pretty awesome. Who can it be now? Um, I can see it in your eyes down under. Be good, Johnny. Touching the untouchables. Catch a star. Pretty awesome to be able to add this. I believe this is my second Minute Work album in my collection. So pretty happy to be able to add that. All right, so I have three left here. Um, I'm gonna save the picture one for last. Oh, I'm sorry, I have four left here. Pet Benatar, get nervous. Accidentally bought this. I already have one, but that's all right. I will pick the better of the two and the better insert of the two. And the better album of the two. So, so even though I'm going to keep the better one, if you're looking for Get Nervous, Get Nervous, let me know. All right. So I'm really happy to get that, even though I already have it. I am going at the end of August to see Pat Benatar in concert. All right. Then I was able to grab this one. Working Class Dog with Rick Springfield, and that is Ron, which was his dog. Um, he has passed away. I believe this album, is this the one? Pretty sure this is the album that I just ordered the 40th anniversary of. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Because the picture here is a current picture of Rick instead of this picture, which was a current picture at the time, right? So, oh, we got some lyrics. We did not get all the lyrics. I'm picking up my baby tonight. Oh, daddy's in. It'll be all right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's working class dog lyrics. And then there's Rick and a list of everybody on the band. That's pretty cool. So, yes, um, I believe this is the one I just ordered the 40th anniversary edition of. So I'm waiting for that one. And then, in the excitement, which is okay because the other one I bought uh, actually has a better cover, I also bought Rick Springfield, Living in Oz, Living in Oz. So pretty cool to add this one to the collection, even though I already have it. But it do have this amazing picture of Rick and these awesome lyrics. But again, uh, if I can get it the right way, this one has a lot of damage, so I probably will be switching it out. And last but not least, I was able to pick up a pictured album. And I picked up Kevin Bacon from Footloose. 
which is pretty cool with this one because it is a different picture on both sides. Now, what is it? The six degrees to Kevin Bacon. I loved Footloose. Um, Bonnie Tyler, Denise Williams, Shalimar, Kenny Loggins, Mike Reno from Loverboy, Ann Wilson from Heart, uh, Sammy Hagar, I Can't Drive, 55. You know, it's so crazy. When that song came out, the speed limit on our freeways anyways here in California was 55. And it was like, when that song came on, you could not drive 55. Okay, first of all, we didn't always drive 55 anyways. Second of all, when that song hit though, your foot hit the floor and you took off. Cause you can't drive 55, you know. Now the speed limit's like 65 in most places, so. But still really happy. The plastic is kind of losing it, but it's all right. I'm gonna re-sleeve it, just a sleeve into a sleeve. But pretty happy to be able to add that one to my collection. So that was another purchase from Whatnot, who's taking all my money. You know, it was bad enough when I could go online and buy my Funkos without having to go hunt for them because I hate going shopping. All right, but now I can buy my albums online. But, you know, I'll be honest, I enjoy going to the local record store and digging through the piles, too. But either way, so that's another great amount of albums I've added to my collection as I'm keeping a running list. Um, if you're ever interested in the list, if you're ever have any questions if there's ever anything you're looking for let me know i can keep my eyes open you never know right all right guys smash that like button leave me a comment and stick around check out my patreons and thank you for your support and thank them for their support bye guys